Okay, in this video we're going to be working with the equation q equals mc delta t. So when we have an equation or a problem on a test or a quiz like this one, how much heat is required to raise 100 grams of water from 25 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius? The first thing we got to ask ourselves is are we dealing with one phase, a phase change, perhaps a phase change and in addition to a single phase? So first we've got to figure out what's going on with our substance. So from 25 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. Since we know that the freezing point of water, the freezing and melting point of water is zero degrees Celsius, and the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius, since we're staying above our freezing point and below our boiling point, we know we're at a single, a single phase. We're gonna be in a liquid phase the whole time. <clears throat> so if we're in a single phase the whole time, we're gonna use the equation Q equals MC delta T. Q being the heat required or the energy required to change the temperature of a certain mass of a substance with a certain specific heat. So for this question, all we have to do is pretty much plug and chug because everything's been given to us. So we're looking for Q because that's the heat that's required. So it's Q equals the mass of our water, which is 100 grams times our C, which is our specific heat, and this will be given to you on the test or quiz, which is 4.18 joules per grams degrees Celsius. You don't have to worry about the units, but just so you can see how this works, times our delta T, which is our temperature change, and it's always, so delta T is always final minus initial. So this is going to be 80 minus 25. Since we're heating it up, if we were cooling it down, our delta T would actually be a negative number, which is fine. Just make sure to carry that negative all the way through, and that's degrees Celsius. Okay, now we just plug and chug. So 100 times 4.18, and our grams are going to cancel. Our degrees Celsius are going to cancel, so we're going to be left with something, or we're going to be left with joules in our unit, which is what we want. Our Q is either going to be in kilojoules or joules, depending on what it asks for. So 100 times 4.18 times 80 minus 25, which is simply going to give us 22,990 joules. If it, asked for, if it asked for the answer in kilojoules, we'd simply move the decimal three places over to the left and we would be left with 22.99 kilojoules. Okay, so that's how you use Q equals MCAT, which is if we're dealing with only a single phase. So we're not phase changing, we're just dealing with a single phase. We're gonna, we're gonna use Q equals MC delta T. Q being how much heat is required or released M being the mass of the substance, C being the specific heat of the substance, which will be given, and delta T being the temperature change, final minus initial. And if, it's, if the final is smaller than the initial because we're releasing heat, make sure you carry that negative all the way through.